Hello everyone, I'm going to show you how to set up Flex Utility Premium in the year 2022 and beyond. Very first time that you open the app, you'll be asked to allow display over other apps. This is so that the overlay tap button can show. Go ahead and press got it. Find Flex Utility Premium and check and now you'll have the choice to use legacy filters or sub filters legacy filters allow you to have one set of filters as seen here i'm going to go ahead and set up my legacy filters now for station code enter your preferred stations separated by a comma make sure to enter them case sensitive as they appear in the flex app if they appear in the flex app as all capitals then you should enter them as all capitals, separate them with a comma. Do not leave a trailing comma at the end. For hours, you will enter the hours. This is the length of the block. I want two hour blocks, two and a half, three, four and a half, and four. As you can see, if you want, for example, two and a half, you would enter 2.5 and you separate with a comma. Okay. For the pay filter, you will have four options. You could select blocks paying a certain amount or more, or you could select blocks paying a certain amount an hour or more. Advanced users can use the manual entry, and or you can say select blocks paying any amount. We're going to say select blocks paying 22 an hour or more. The date filter I only want blocks that are for today I'm gonna press edit I'm gonna tap today's date twice I'm gonna press ok and as you can see we have set up our legacy filters here with these filters we're saying select only select blocks with these stations um, for this block length two two and a half three four and a half and four starting between 11 a.m to 9 p.m. paying 22 an hour on today's date. Now we'll talk about the other preferences here. Immediate accept will, whenever it detects the schedule button on the screen, it will attempt to schedule that block regardless of your filters. So that with this enabled, the idea is that when the schedule button's on the screen, it will immediately attempt to accept that block. This way it will potentially be faster then you could do another tap. Um, if you're gonna decline blocks, you want to disable this. If you have the new Amazon Flex layout where it's tap to accept, you don't need to worry about the swipe stuff. If you still have the old lay layout where it's swipe to accept, um, then you have the swipe direction here. It's pretty much left or right uh, for everybody who ha still have the old layout. Uh, for alert sound, so get an alert sound when blocks appear, tap that, and you can either say get an alert sound for when blocks appear that match your station filter, or get an alert sound when blocks appear that match all your filters. I usually go with all filters, select that. For block log, block log will keep a record of the blocks that become available on your screen in the Flex app. You can either log blocks that uh, match your station filter or you can log all blocks. I usually go with log blocks that match the station filter. All right with legacy filters you also have this option here you can choose to save what you've set up here as a preset. So I'm going to say this is a prime now preset. I'm going to say just call it PN press OK or press save and now if I were to change the filters I could just select that and they would change back to that. Then we have filter selection to use. If you want to disable some filters, you can do that. As you can see, I just disabled those. And if I select it again, I can re-enable those. Um, you can try to disable filters um, to see if it makes the app faster. Like if you're not using, a say you're not using the hours filter, you could go ahead and disable it and you know, see how that performs. Um, and you can choose to only select reserve blocks that match these filters. Um, you would only want to select that if you only want reserve blocks and not 
other kinds of blocks. If you're still using the old Amazon Flex layout where it's swipe to accept, you could choose to randomize the swipe. This will just randomize it just a little bit where it is on the screen so that it's not exactly the same every time. If you have the new layout where it's tap to accept, again, ignore swipe stuff. All right, let's go ahead and set up the subfilters. With subfilters, um, it allows you to have multiple sets of filters for different kinds of blocks. So let's say you want a set of subfilters for uh, logistics that have a certain pay and a certain time and a certain date, and then you want a separate set of filters for Prime Now that have a different pay date and time. So you can have as many subfilters as you want here. Let's go ahead and set up a couple of them. Press the plus here. And just like before with the legacy filters, we're gonna set our parameters here, our filters here. So here I've set up a subfilter for Prime Now and Whole Foods um, that are two, two and a half, three, three and a half, four hours long, starting between 9 a.m. to 9 p.m., paying 22 an hour uh, for today's date only. I'm gonna press create. And now I could create another <clears throat> subfilter for uh, say logistics with a different set of parameters. So let's do that. Press plus again. And so I've set up my logistics sub filter for these stations, this length of block, these start time between 11 to 1 PM paying 22 an hour. Uh, and I have blocks for today or tomorrow per period. And as you can see, I have two separate uh, sub filters with different stations and pay start time parameters. Uh, this is very useful for when you have different preferences for different stations and types of blocks. Uh, we'll go ahead and press OK there and we see whether we have two sub filters and we already set this part up with the immediate accept the alert sound. Um, so that stays the same between either whichever one you choose. If we open the menu here, we see a few things. This is where the uh, block log, this is where the block logs are going to be. Uh, theme options, you can change the button theme. The default one is pretty small. I like to use the extra large one. Uh, sorry, I'm looking through the phone here. Okay. And then you have the overlay button Y axis. This is a. Uh, how high it is on the screen. Um, you can just go ahead and adjust the overlay button uh, where it is on the screen using this. And you can disable the button click sound when you tap uh, the overlay, it makes a sound. If you wanna disable that and do that. Okay, and then we have the advanced. Advanced is only gonna be for users who still have the old flex layout where it's swipe to accept. If you have the new layout where it's tap to accept, don't worry about this at all. Uh, there's a separate video for advanced that I'll link in the description. Opt-in crash reporting. Uh, if your app has a crash, um, it will report it to Firebase Crashlytics. There's some info here about what that is and privacy policy. Uh, it's definitely helpful to me as a developer if you enable this. I appreciate it. What we need to do is navigate to the Flex Offer screen. And keep in mind that Flex Utility Premium does not automatically tap for you. You're gonna need to tap yourself. And that's all you need to do, is just tap this button. When a block appears that matches your filters, um, if you enabled the alert sound, you'll get an alert sound, and uh, the app will attempt to accept the block that matches your filters. Uh, so, you could go ahead and do other things around the house. Just carry your phone around with you and la di da go ahead and eat some breakfast and let Flex Utility handle it for you. All you got to do is just tap this button. That's it. If you have any questions or concerns or need help, contact James at flexutility.app. Thank you. Appreciate it. Have a great day. If you want to see what it's like to catch a block using the app, check out the Let's Tap video series. I'll go ahead and link that in the description as well. Um, thank you. Have a great and awesome day. I hope you catch lots of, lots of blocks with Flex Utility Premium. Appreciate it.